Hello, I'm Martin Daubney, a judge of the Supreme Court of Queensland. This is the first in a series of videos produced by the Q Pilch Self-Representation Service to give general guidance to people who are representing themselves in civil cases. Litigation is stressful at the best of times. Practice and procedure in court can differ between federal courts and state courts, and even between courts within a single jurisdiction. Judges may take steps to assist you in the course of litigation, but remember, judges must treat all parties before them equally and fairly, and the rules that apply will apply to all of the parties, regardless of whether they are legally represented or not. These videos are designed to give you some general guidance. These videos are not a replacement for legal advice. Remember, if you need legal advice, you should take legal advice. Court cases are not an easy fix for the resolution of disputes. They are stressful and they take time. You should give serious consideration to resolving your dispute by an out-of-court process such as mediation. Let's look now at some basic information about starting a civil case in Queensland. Being involved in any dispute is difficult and mostly involves time, stress, and other strong emotions. Some disputes can be resolved through the court system. These resources consider how you can manage your own court case. But right at the start, we need to ask whether court is the right place for you, because going to court can have problems of its own. It can be time consuming, emotionally draining, and expensive. You must have a cause of action, which means a problem which is recognized by the law and for which the courts can give a remedy. The courts must apply the law, and the law is based on precise definitions, which often don't take into account your feelings or all of your experiences. The court can only give a remedy provided by law, which might not resolve all the issues in a dispute. See, it's already confusing, isn't it? And full of technical terms. Let's think about it in another way. Have you ever been on a long plane journey before? When you break it down, a journey actually involves many steps. You need to purchase a ticket, pack your luggage, plan how much you can take, what gets checked in and what you can carry. Perhaps you research your destination. Do they use a different language or currency there? You need to manage all the airport processes and sometimes you travel with others. It's actually a lot of organisation and at times might not seem worth it. This is a lot like going to court in a civil law matter. It's like taking a long plane journey with steps along the way, and the destination is the trial. This series of videos will help you prepare, pack, and stay organized as much as possible, and this is the first video about getting started. The first step is to get your ticket. There's always a form to start court proceedings, and which form is the right one depends on the type of dispute you have, which court is involved, and what outcome you seek. This can be complicated, if you're not sure about what form to use to start your court case, you should get some legal advice. In this video, we will explain how to complete a form called a Statement of Claim. Your Statement of Claim is like the ticket you use to start your journey. Your ticket contains only the really basic information. In court proceedings, we call these material facts. Just like the limits on how much carry-on luggage you can take with you in the plane cabin, in court proceedings, your statement of claim, or defence, only include the material facts that you are relying on. The rest of your luggage is the evidence that gets presented to the court at the trial, and it all goes in the hold of the plane to be used when you arrive. And just like a flight, there are some things that you can't bring on the plane at all. Emotional baggage. This isn't to say that your emotional issues aren't important, but courts only deal with a narrow range of issues, Going to court will also use emotional energy, especially if you don't get the outcome you want. Irrelevant material. Courts are only interested in the facts that are relevant. We'll talk more about evidence in video number three. Scandalous or vexatious material. You can only raise the key legal issues in your case. You can't be rude about the other party, the court, or someone else. Criminal matters. If there is a crime involved, that's not part of the civil law case and needs to be separately reported and investigated by the police. Let's look more closely at what needs to go on your ticket. Paul 
it's good to meet you. Welcome to the self-representation service. What brings you here today? I need your help to sue Dina. We made a deal and she broke it, and now I've lost thousands. Well, not all deals are enforceable, so why don't you tell me exactly what happened? I wanted to buy a business, be my own boss. Dina had a car wash business for sale. After I looked it over and signed a contract, I got the finance, got some new uniforms and equipment. Then Dina rings up and says that she had to pull out. I said that I couldn't do that and that I'd spent a lot of money. I still want to buy the business, but if that can't happen, I want to cover my costs. I've got the contract, receipts for all the things I purchased and emails between Dina and me. All right, from what you've said here and what's all this material here, it looks like what you've got is a cause of action for a breach of contract. That said, going to court can be quite expensive. You sure you're not willing to negotiate with Dina at all? What's the point? She refuses to take any more calls from me. Okay, how do we get started with the court case? You need to fill out a statement of claim. A statement of claim tells the court who you are, who you're suing, and the facts that you say give rise to you getting what you want. Now the first question we need to establish is who are you suing? Um, you've mentioned that Dina has breached the contract. However, the contract here says that it's actually between you and Dina's company. Dina and her company are different legal people, and so what this means is that you have to sue the company and they're the people who have to be listed as the defendant on your statement of claim. Let's just fix it up for you now. Next, you have to put the facts that tell the court why you should get the order that you want. Well, that's easy. I've already made notes about everything that has happened and everything Dina said to me since the start. That's great. Keep that in mind. Not all that should go in your statement of claim, just the essentials, the material facts. Keep the other information for later on. For a contract dispute, you need to put in the facts that show the agreement that was made between you and her company, that it had particular terms, and that Dina breached those terms, and that you suffered a loss as a direct result of Dina's actions. So let's get started. Now Paul has his ticket, he can get started on his journey. He needs to secure his seat on the plane by lodging his claim with the court registry. They're like the ground crew. This is called filing documents. In most courts, you also need to pay a fee to lodge your claim forms. If you can't afford to pay a fee, talk to the registry staff about getting a fee reduction or a waiver. When documents are filed with the court, they get a court stamp on them. The next step is letting the defendant know they will also be coming on the journey with you. You do this by giving them a copy of the stamp documents. This is called serving documents. Each court has strict rules about how a document should be served. So get legal advice about this, or sometimes the registry can help. Normally, documents which start a court case should be personally served, physically handed to the person named as the defendant. Once you've served your claim, the defendant then has to prepare their own ticket to come on the journey. Otherwise, the plane might leave without them. Our next video will be looking at what a defendant must do in response to a claim. Here's some more detailed resources that you might find helpful.